So hey guys, in today's video, I will show you how to convert units from one system to another in uh, Microsoft Excel. But basically, you can use any software or you can even do it manually. This is not a very difficult task. So uh, as you can see that there are different types of uh, systems uh, for different units. For example, there is an SI system or sometimes it's also called MKS system. And there is another system called FPS system. Uh, excuse me. So in these two systems, uh, there are different different units. For example, an MK system, this is mass kilogram second, and FPS it is foot pound second. This is mass kilogram second, and this is foot pound second. On the other hand, SAI system is just an extension to this MKS system so this is basically just the same thing just a broader meaning uh, in this video we will uh, we will just learn how to change one unit uh, to another video to another type of unit and that will just be very easy for you for example in this first uh, part you can see that we have to connect okay let's, let me let me just bold them all so you can uh, easily see them see okay so in the first uh, okay, so let me just iterate one thing that in this video I will be uh, converting every value for the number 59 because 59 just seems a good number for me. So that is why I will be just calculating calculating everything for 59. For example, uh, starting with miles to kilometer, uh, I will just write uh, miles here. Now let's write kilometer here. So. Uh, how, uh, so the trick is in every unit from one system to another you have to just remember one of the values for example you either have to remember what is the value of mile one mile and that is equal to how many kilometers in other words I know in this case that one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers so if I know that then everything else just becomes easy I can then convert kilometers to miles similarly I have just have to know how many millimeters are there in a meter and if I do that then I can also know how many meters are there in a millimeter so enough about that let's just go ahead and start doing this for example firstly uh, I know that in one mile there is 1.609 kilometers so uh, going back to this number of 59 uh, how many miles how many kilometers are there in 59 miles so I will just write 59 miles equals to just put an equal sign here uh, so 59 multiplied by 1.609 this gives me 94.931 kilometers so basically if you have any other number just put that number and even in a calculator you could do that so just open the calculator and just multiply the number for example if I have to know I have to use the 59 so 59 multiplied by 1.609 and you can get the same number so even with a calculator you can find that it's just easy uh, similarly now I have to find uh, kilometer to miles so just I told you earlier I know that the value of one mile is 1.609 kilometers so what is the value of kilometer to miles so in that case that's very easy I will just divide 1 divided by 1.609 this gives me 0 0.621504 miles in 1 kilometer so I know the number now the conversion factor uh, so I'll now I have to know how many so let me just write kilometer no this is uh, this is kilometers and this is miles so now I have to write this one here and now so in one kilometer I don't know how many miles do I have so I will just write one and divide it by 1.609 this will give me one kilometer is equals is equal to 0 0.62 miles so uh, 59 kilometer 
how much will be the miles i will just multiply 59 into 0 0.62154 this will give me 36 miles that's done so uh, thirdly is how many millimeters are there in a meter in other words i have to convert millimeter to meter so for example if i have fifth, one millimeter how many meters are there in one millimeter i know that uh, there are thousand millimeters in one meter so in one millimeter there are one divided by one thousand which makes it 0 0.001 meter so in 59 millimeters i have 59 multiplied by 0 0.001 meters so uh, how many centimeters are there in one meter do i know that okay just write this first in terms of centimeters if i have one centimeter this is equal to there are i know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter so i will just divide one with 100 and i will get 0 0.01 meter and then that's the same thing write 59 here and just multiply 59 with 0 0.01 and you will get that in 59 centimeter these are actually equal to 0 0.59 meters in terms of feet uh, so I will just write feet and I will write meter here. So how many meters are there in one feet? In one feet, I know that uh, one meter is equal to 3.281 feet. So I will just uh, divide one divided by 3.281. This will one feet equals to 0 0.304, so 785 meter. So in 59 feet, what do I get? 59 multiplied by this number and this gives me in 59 feet there are 17.98 meters so now the meter to feet this is the easy part because i already remember the value so i will just write meter here and the feet here and in one meter there are 3.281 foot so as i told you earlier in one of these two you have to just remember one value for, for example if you just know that one meter has 3.281 feet then you can convert any number that's just the easy part then meter and feet and i will do it for 59 so in 59 meters there are 59 multiplied by 3.281 feet gives you then 193.579 feet going ahead into square meter to square feet part so uh, uh, in one meter we'll just start square meter and square feet so the trick with the squares is that you have to actually take the squares of these values. The squares will, uh, the squares of the conversion factors even. So for example, I know that in one square meter there is 3.281 into 3.281. That is the square, 10.76 square feet. So in 59 square meter, I have 59 multiplied by this factor this is square feet so in square feet to square meter uh, I will just write square feet and square meter here so starting here now I know that uh, in 1 meter there are 3.281 so I will just divide it then okay 1 divided by I will put it in a bracket because bracket will help me Put these values easily 3.281 into 3.281 or you can just use a 3.281 square everything will work here so in one square feet there are 0 0.09 square meters so 59 square feet will give you 59 multiplied by this value this gives you 5.48 in cubic feet cubic meter to cu uh, cubic feet writing them here so in one cubic meter there is 3.281 so one meter is 3.281 feet so one cubic meter is 3.281 with a cube which is 35.319 or 35.32 cubic feet this is the most widely used number in terms of discharges in engineering 
and in many other fields as well. So in 59 cubic meter, you will get 59 into 35.32 number. This gives you in a cubic feet this number. Uh, so now in terms of cubic feet to cubic meter, so one cubic feet is equal to just like because the meter is the bigger number, so I will have to divide it. One divide by and put it in this 3.281 cube. So 59 cubic feet will give you 59 multiplied by 3.281 and gives you a number of cubic meter in terms of 1.67. Ah, so the kilometer per hour to miles per hour and vice versa. So in kilometer per hour, do I know? Uh, I actually don't know the exact number, but I'll have to calculate it here. So in kilometer per hour, uh, let's see if there is one kilometer per hour. How much is it equal to in terms of mile per hour? Uh, okay. So in that part, what I will do is I will just come in here and start doing the numbers, start crunching numbers because uh, one kilometer per hour is equal to uh, hours are the same. So the only difference in here is that the kilometer and miles uh, have a similarity which we have seen above 1.609 factor. So one kilometer, one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometer and one kilometer is equal to 0.62. Uh, mile so the only difference in here is that when i put a kilometer per hour here the number of that conversion factor of 0.621 can be used here 0.621504 just paste the value here mile per hour in terms of miles per hour if some people write it as a, write it as MPH as well, so we can use that. <coughs> so 59 kilometer per hour will give you 59 multiplied by this number. So this is in terms of mile per hour. In terms of kilometer per hour to meter per second, that's the easier part because you know one kilometer has 1,000 meters. So kilometer per hour, I will write it here, and meter per second. I will write it here. Okay, so there is another number of second. Uh, I have to know that. So in terms of this, let's just convert it here. So what we will do is we will just start writing. So one kilometer has 1000 meters. And so we can write it at here, write it let's just like this. And then because one hour has 36, so I have to divide it because the hour is at the bottom. So I have divided the number and the hour, one hour has uh, 60 minutes and then one minute has 60 seconds. So overall, we'll put it here in this form. That 60 multiplied by 60. That will give me a number of this. So in, in order to turn one kilometer per hour uh, to a meter per second, I'll have to multiply this number. For example, if there is one kilometer per hour in here that number to convert it to meter per second will be 0 0.277778 so in 59 kilometer per hour, kilometers per hour we'll have to multiply this number with 59 and this will give me in meters per second so in terms of meter per second to kilometer per hour and uh, we will have to just take the reciprocal of this number that is I can just divide this one with this number and this will give me 3.6 so one meter per second for example one meter per second is equals is equal to 3.6 kilometer per hour so 59 meters per second that is very very fast 59 multiplied by 3.6 kilometer per hour and lastly I have to convert I can delete them so and lastly okay just complete this part I have to convert miles per hour to meter per second okay I have to think about that uh, I know that one mile 
is equal to uh, 1.609 kilometer and 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter so multiplied by 1000 and then because the r at the bottom and I have to convert this r to this second so I have to divide it and then I have to divide the r convert the r to second which gives me it have to put it in a bracket and 60 because r one hour is 60 minutes and then one minute is 60 seconds so another 60 so this is the conversion factor which will convert one mile per hour to one minute per second so I will write one mile per hour or mph and I will convert to use the conversion factor you can take the value from here too and put it as meter per second so 59 mile per hour gives you 59 multiplied by this number and this is in terms of meter per second so this is just okay I'll just write it here let's take that and paste it in this form so this was the video guys and in this video I have just shown you the basic concept of how one number is converted to another number and you can in these numbers you can see that whenever one number is bigger you can actually see that the conversion factor is greater than one on the other hand when the number is smaller I know that kilometer is smaller than mile so this one kilometer is smaller than one mile because this value is less than one well, I know that one millimeter is less than one meter so one millimeter is 0 0.001 meter which is much much less than one I know that the feet is less than meter because this value shows me that this is in decimals and then I know that square meter is greater than square foot so one square meter is equal to 10.7 so this will just give you a logical idea of how these numbers play on from one value to another so this was the video guys uh, I will prefer if you like and subscribe this channel and thank you and we'll meet again